Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Council Plays The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of Lamb Edition, version 1.48. This game is happening immediately after the last one, in which we got absolutely destroyed as Samson. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, pick up Eve this time and just try her out. Um, she does start with two hearts, but she has one less damage. Um, the Dead Bird and the Whore of Babylon, and we will get speed and range upgrade right off the bat. So, not a bad pickup. Um, although Speed and Rage being probably my two least favorite stat upgrades, um, we do have a Spirit or a Eternal Heart in here, which would be useful to pick up if we can find a bomb anywhere. Since Eve does start with nothing on the, uh, see if we can force you down and just try to finish you off and hope for a bomb drop that we can actually pick up and use. So a key, not what I'm looking for. Yeah, she starts off with a dead bird, which whenever she gets hit, a little familiar familiar will pop out, and I swear if I don't get a bomb, I'm going to be upset now. Heart, so last chance here. And we're going to leave behind an eternal heart. I'm going to leave behind an eternal heart, th uh, three bombs, and a regular heart, because we don't get a bomb on this floor. And by that, I mean, it is possible for us to get something like pageant boy or uh, the box against the uh, Duke of Flies would be our first enemy. So it's possible that we could get something, but I will be pretty upset if we don't. I definitely feel like the game will be trolling me at that point pretty hardcore. Considering we didn't get... Come on, little fly. Or little... Uh, see, so we got the dead bird out right now um, because we did get hit, but its AI is really not very good. As you can see, it can't figure out what's going on. It took some bad damage there. I have to, like, put myself directly into harm's way or hope that... It looks like it has a, a vision of almost nothing and doesn't hit very hard at all. And if we get him on... There we go. It is on the Duke of Flies now, so it'll start getting whittled down, so all we have to do is survive at this point. And really hoping for some sort of way to cause an explosion. So uh, what we want right now. Oh, so I did actually take damage, so now you get to see what Horror Babylon looks like. Um, hopefully. Okay, so. Come over here and get our health back so we don't die on the first floor. So, we got Mom's coin, cur uh, po coin purse. So we'll go ahead and hope one of these is explosive diarrhea. So we'll go ahead and uh, activate it. Puberty. We could get a bombs or a key pill, also. So we have a few ways that this could help us out. Puberty doesn't do anything. It makes our hair look kind of funny. But other than that, it literally does nothing. We'll come over here and... Pretty fly, so that's not bad. But really cross my fingers for that. Bombs or key pill or explosive diarrhea pill. Explosive diarrhea makes you drop bombs behind you as you run around. So let's really hope for that here. Bombs or key. Well now. Let's go ahead and... Bomb our way in here. Grab these three bombs. Come over to here. Blow this up. Get our eternal heart. Bomb our way into what should be the secret room. Grab a slow effect on our tears. Swing back into the boss room, grab our final pill, and then head down to the next floor. So, we went from having, uh, there we go, and then we, we'll use this to find out it is locked down, so not a big deal. And we do have one bomb left. So we went from having uh, no bombs and uh, two hearts to having uh, three hearts, one bomb, and a uh, slowing effect on our tears just because of one pill and we get two more keys. So I am absolutely happy with that. We'll blow up this tinted rock. And there's a bomb and a spear heart in it, so we'll come in here, activate these things. So we got two live bombs and two pills. Don't know what the blue pill does. This is luck down, so we won't take luck down. We will try these pills, which will give us tears down. So we had to sacrifice some health for that. And then all we ended up getting was bad. Yeah, Tears Down is really unfortunate, considering she only has base damage of one, uh, 
Go ahead and blow this up, hope for something better. We'll get another Spirit Heart, so not great. And we are out of bombs again. Really hoping for that small rock or uh, more than one item off of... Oh, Lord. So we'll go ahead and try to blow up. There we go. All right, let's survive that. And another bomb, so good. We'll go ahead and use our key to enter this room, which is... Sack of pennies, which gives money. Apparently. So... Apparently we're going to start getting money at random, which isn't bad, I guess. Could make uh, the shop worthwhile eventually. Go ahead and continue to fight our way through here. As you can see, our damage is absolutely abysmal right now, but we do have some meat to us, which will be helpful. Get another key, so that's useful. Head down here, start fighting these spiders, which takes me three hits to kill right now. Swing down here. Kind of an asshole room, uh, room layout here. Ah, and we did take damage. I was worried about that. But we'll get a key from our our sack here. We'll get the red patch, which I think gives heart drops. I don't know. Oh, we'll go back to full health here, and we'll continue to explore the floor because we could use. All right. Oh well. Here's what we'll do. Oh, it looks like it's some sort of crazy rage where. Oh no. Well, that's lucky, so we'll blow up this. There we go. We'll find the small rock, which gives us damage and slows us down a little bit, but we did get the speed upgrade. Looks like whenever we take damage, we gain the rage effect, so that could be useful, especially if we get a bunch of health. We'll go ahead and fight the boss here, which is uh, the Blighted Ovum. Disgusting. So, this is the one that leaves the trail behind it. So, with the slowing tears, it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully we can just ease our way around in a circle so that it's a uh, little open me path here. It won't be a big deal to us. That will fire the laser beam at us, so we need to be careful of that. But having these slowing tears against this boss is unbelievably useful. So... Oh! God, I hope that didn't make the uh, end room disappear. Don't think it did. So, we'll find out if I made a cloth mistake or not. We'll come back here, grab the Eternal Heart. We'll move on to the uh, Angel Room. Fingers crossed, hopefully still there. That would be terrible for us to have... Fuck. So, we've lost an Angel Room for literally no reason. That's really bad news. And we've got shot speed up. Oh, my heart hurts from that one. Oh, I, I can't describe how bad of a play that was. We could have gotten something really game-breaking there. I'm super upset with myself now. I mean, it... Might have just been the Guardian Angel, but it could have been a lot of really good items, so words cannot describe the amount of the amount of sadness I now hold within myself. So much so that I'm just gonna take stupid damage. But on the bright side, we I uh, can't believe that happened. So we got the magnet, which uh, makes items come to us. Not the greatest item. I can't believe that happened. Oh well, will I get over it and move on? Worst things have happened. Let's check out what's in here. Uh, a little bit of money, and... Ah, oh, can't believe I face-checked into that guy. But we do have uh, Rage activated now, and our uh, little bird flying around there. Right, so this room should be pretty easy. And with Dead Bird flying around, this should make this fight fairly simple. It doesn't do very much damage, though. It's kind of a bad item. Like, if it, was, if it was constantly out, I'd consider it to be fairly decent. You know, like a Meat Boy, kind of. Oh. Like a Meat Boy, kind of, that'd be... Man, that lasts... Uh, a Meat Boy as far as damage goes, but instead, it only comes out when, it, uh, when you get hit. So you have to take damage. With the Red Patch, though, we are kind of running like a Berserker build, where we have to get hit, and then we'll be at full capacity here. So if we can find some way of getting sustainable health, it could make difficult bosses much more uh, easy for us to handle, considering the more times we get hit, the stronger we become as the fight goes along. Alright, so, uh, Sack of Penny's doing okay for us. Still at only 8 cents, so not great. As we find more cents. We are up to 10 now. I guess find out what's in the red chest. I kind of want to make up for the, uh, Lack of that angel room, so we'll try to beef ourselves up. And Mom's Pearl, not at all what I wanted. 
But we might have the secret room to our left. So that was a waste of a bomb and a key, unfortunately. And it is not there. Continue exploring. Got these effing greed heads now. Which I cannot stand. Kill one and we should be in better shape. If we get like a bum friend or something with the uh, the coin for or the the bag, that could be kind of useful. Jesus, takes a long time to kill these dudes. The nice thing about this room is we can hide away from them when we want to. Almost dodge right into it. Oh, I can just stand here and it will float to me. So that's nice. We don't have enough money to get to the uh, item room yet. If we figure out where the secret room is, we might be able to use that to catapult ourselves in there. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so we are going to take some some damage here. Hopefully we can uh, limit it to less, which we indeed did do. So we're at 14 cents, or 13 cents. Oh, another one of these rooms. And that knocked us through. Okay, that's bad. Um, so we found the second secret room here. After taking just a colossal amount of damage. Hopefully something awesome in here. We'll blow it up right away. Gives us this pill, which is luck down. So three luck down pills so far, and we are at only one heart, so this could end for us rather rapidly, which it looks like it may. So come in here. We stay away from most of the flies. We can take them one at a time. Hope they don't float at us too quickly here. So we're going to need some way of finding... Okay, so we'll go check out the item room now that we have all this money. Uh, yeah, so we are going to need some way of getting our health back. Looks like a pill is off the table. So I wouldn't be opposed to notched axe, garbage. Nothing really good. This is the fool, which teleports us back to the start of the start of the game, I think, or start of the level. So we'll take it. I was hoping for either like a hero font or a two of hearts, or something to give us a little bit more more meat. Even at that point, a judgment would have been useful. You know. um... The sun would have been great. Unfortunately, no luck. We have a blood bank, which is literally no help to us whatsoever. We can blow it up for hearts. So we'll grab that, and we'll, we'll continue. That's actually the end of it. So we'll blow this up for hearts to hope that we can... Uh... Okay, so we did get two hearts out of that. That's actually more useful than I initially thought. And we are going to fight Pestilence here, which will give us a cube of meat, which isn't great, but... I mean, could be worse options. Just gotta get him off his horse and he becomes easy, although... Hopefully he'll start killing his own here, because he's producing a lot of these... ...little, uh, silkworms here. He's got... ...five of them out. And I did actually learn something just now. The charging silkworms are... Alright, and we did take damage, so we have the, uh... ...dead bird out. The... The charging silk rooms actually are thinner and wider than their counterparts. So, I didn't know that there was actually a physical difference, at least not one that I had ever noticed. Let's just finish Pestilence here and he should die. Ah, and I walked onto the creep, which was a poor maneuver. We get some more money, some more hearts, and this cube of meat, which as of right now does us zero good. So, moving on to the case part two here. Got all these gishes, which if we stand directly to the side, they won't be able to hurt us at all. I get a bomb out of it, which is nice. And another scent putting us at 19. So the shop, again, is going to be a viability, although at this point, I think we're pretty likely to see... A heart. Okay, we'll grab that. Come in here. Uh, okay, cool. So Sister Maggie, not a terrible item, giving us a little bit of damage in a familiar form. The form of a familiar, anyways. Go ahead and kill this guy. Um, I probably shouldn't check that room to the right unless I know that we have some way of getting hearts back. But it would be nice to pick up some sort of an item that would be useful to us. We'll come down here and see if we can kill... Ah, way too slow there. So we're able to finish off another one of him and dodge these little... Uh, Chubs that are shooting at us. 
to fight this fly, and we are able to finish him out and pick up this money. So really just waiting on finding the shop here would be great. I'm pretty sure Sister Maggie does more damage than we do with our shots right now. And fires only about half as fast, so... Sister Maggie is the number one source of damage for us right now. Which I think is kind of funny. I mean, these slowing shots are nice. So let's continue to fight these fistulas. Kill these bomb flies as well. Uh, get a heart and a key. Yeah, let's see what's in the arcade here. Uh, we'll blow up the uh, blood bank here and hope for... Good enough. Hope for something like that. So we'll go ahead and play these a few times so we go down to 15 cents. We've got a key out of it, not bad. Got two more keys. So pretty decent pickup so far. We got... Wow! So we are going to keep playing this for as much as we're worth. Seems to pick up 11 cents off that dime. Uh, I'm not even sure what we're playing for right now, but bombs. Okay, that's good. We needed those. Some more money. We need to pay attention to what we're playing for. Uh, fly there. Bombs. Sure, on the right side. Oh, no. Maybe they're in the middle. I don't know. Try a few more times. Money. Try the middle here. Alright, and even more money, so awesome. We'll keep playing this for as long as we feel like. And uh, here we go. Some hearts. Got lots of hearts, so if we find another blood bank, we'll be able to make really, really good use out of it. Alright, so he's gonna give us a bomb. Keep playing here a little bit more. So get, until we get down to 15 cents, I guess what we'll do. More hearts. More money. Uh, flies. Bombs. Bombs should be in the middle, I think. Yep. So I think the way this works is every time you win, he pays out with the same item in the same spot. So I'll try to explain it to you, so let's let's look at this. We'll uh hearts, which I think are on the right side, so if we tap the right side. No, hearts aren't on the right side. Okay, I messed up. So bombs, bombs are in the middle, so I can almost guarantee here. Oh, never mind. I'm totally wrong. Forget I said anything, I thought. So that'd be a nice item to pick up. Nope. So we're at 16 cents where our last play goes here. Should be bombs. Go ahead and blow both these up. Troll bomb and just bombs for everyone, I guess. So back up to 20 cents. Um, there's just an inordinate amount of health in that room. So if we find a use for that, we could uh, follow through and make that useful. Um, the shop is going to be extremely useful as well. Actually, no, I forgot we did more money. I forgot that we did end up. Uh, We'll go ahead and blow that up to get whatever's inside. I forgot that we did end up getting the small rock. So we are doing more than just base damage. I think we're doing three damage. I'll check after this fight because I'm actually curious how much damage we're doing right now. Got the slow effect on Larry Jr. So that does slow him down a bit. Got the kill. Spirit hearts. Blow that up. Find out what's in the chest here. More bombs. Okay, so yeah, if we look, we are at three, three damage. So check out the greed. I pretty much expect greed at this point. Um, oh jeez, I did not expect his shots to go that far or hit me twice. Yeah, when you slow down their movement, you also slow down, or when you shut down the, slow down their shot speed, there's a little bit of physics involved. Where, get all this money back. A little bit of physics involved where, um, they go less far because they have less momentum. So, yeah. Go ahead and head to the left here. Just looking for the boss room now. I forgot we did have a sh tears down pill, so we are firing less fast than normal. We can finish this fly off. We'll have the entire right side to move around on, which is good. There's volley shots in here. 
finish off this fly. And continue to explore. Got these douche... I'm not quite sure how I got hit there. Oh, I dodged into the uh, neutral fly. Okay. Just keep fighting these guys. Dead bird's trying to do whatever it can. We got the uh, live bomb here. Check out the secret room, which should be here-ish. Maybe? Yep. This gives us more money. So we're going to have way more money than we know what to do with. Go ahead and grab this key here. Continue on. Okay. So we have found the... Uh... Oh, God. I've taken damage now, but we've uh, got the upgrade... Uh, from the red patch, and dead birds should be apparently nowhere. We took damage, but dead bird's not doing anything. So the AI and dead bird is really bad, if non-existent. Let's try to finish this guy off. Blow up this rock here. Well, no. First things first. We'll swing back to the self-hurt room. Hopefully, we can find something good in there. That could be nice. Take some damage. Two bombs. Not useful. Two spirit hearts. So we'll, we'll use the fool to escape without taking any damage. We'll head back over here to our uh, our uh, lost uh, track. What I was going to say. Arcade. Sorry. So we'll uh, heal up to full because that's just a good idea. And, uh, oh, running into the water, so I got a little bit distracted there. And we'll head back to the boss room, blow up that uh, tinted rock, and fight the boss. Um, chances right now, I'm not feeling too great because I do need a huge amount of help against Mom. I fight pretty poorly. Um, so, why not? We'll find out what's in here. A tarot card, which is the Fool. So, a bomb and a key to refresh our Fool. Not great. I guess we could pretty much count it as a bomb and a key for two spirit hearts, considering that's what we did in the, uh, the little uh, self-hurt room. And so just, as long as we stay out of their way, we should be okay. Just pay attention to which way they're moving. I don't usually have a huge amount of... I can't believe I stepped into it and took damage. <laughs> I'm saying I don't have a huge amount of trouble with these guys. I go ahead and take damage. Uh, these guys are actually easier for me than Larry Jr., just because... I don't fight Larry Jr. too well. So we're down to one of these bouncy guys left. And we'll go ahead and uh, try to finish him off here. Hopefully soon. And there he goes. And we got another deal with the Angel Room. I'll take that right away because... And we have the Bible! So, our luck has just taken a complete change. Okay. Alright, I'm excited now. Things are looking up. We are on the depths part one. Yeah, okay. I'm, yeah, let's do this. Um, basically, the way the Bible works is it will one-shot mom and mom's heart. Just because that's the way it works. And, okay, so... I just got really excited. So, yeah, so with the Bible, we'll be able to one-shot mom and mom's heart. Um, mom's heart not being such a big deal. Mom being... We'll leave that there. Come back for it. Wait, are we fighting? Is Necropolis 1 mom? Necropolis 1 might be mom, I'm not sure. But it's trying to take any damage on the way there. It won't matter though, we'll just grab it before we... Oh Jesus, so many explosions, this is a terrifying room. So, yeah, here's what we're gonna do. Um, we'll just be... we'll one-shot mom anyways. So we'll just wait until... Yeah, so we'll come in here. Find out what's in this chest. Two keys. Use the pool to get out. And continue exploring. Ah, face checked into that. If we die... Ah, what am I taking damage from? Too much too much stuff on my screen. Can't tell what's going on. There's apparently a heart in this... I guess we'll grab this bomb. Got a heart in this room over here. We'll grab that to go back up to full. Or half, I guess. Yeah, the way that uh, the Bible works is it gives you flying for a room, or if you're fighting Mom, 
four mom's heart, it one shots him, or if you're Jesus, this is gonna be a pain. I hope I don't die here. Just move sideways and keep fighting. Dead bird. Got the kill. Can't complain too much. We'll grab this. Spirit heart, good, we'll take that. Anything for survival. Oh, took more damage again. But we got dead bird alive now. Kicking, hopefully. Come on, dead bird. Don't fight the masks, fight the hearts. There you go. Ah! Watching dead bird too much taking damage. We just lost that spirit heart that we got. Money. Flow to us. Oh, Jesus. Holy cow, what is with these rooms? Just gotta kill the nubs first, I guess, because we actually can. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, just fight our way through this. We'll be fine. We'll be okay. We'll get more money. So, 44 cents. Good lord. Come down here. We just need to... If we find the shop in the item room, we'll be done. That's all we want. Okay, so we just gotta fight and finish one of these guys, and this room becomes a lot easier. Okay, so just keep on him. Use us. Uh, Sister Maggie here. Stay away from him. Keep the slowing shot on him. And finish his fly buddy. Okay. We just need the... Yeah, just two rooms and we can leave this floor. Sure. Shop. We'll check it out. Got the ladder and a pill. I don't know what the pills do. I found pills. Why not? Go ahead and use the ladder. We'll grab another cent. Why not? Because money's going to be useless really quick here. And that'll save us. Go ahead and open this. Should give us more money. So that didn't do much for us. It did get us to full health, which is good. Because with the Bible, with the Bible, we're in good shape. That's, that was a really, really good pickup. I'm really happy I got it. It means I don't have to fight the boss, and we now know where the first secret room is. Oh, geez. I'm glad I have the speed, though, because it is saving me from some serious damage here. Need to finish this fistula. Finish both of these. Ah, I can't believe I took damage. That had no arc on it. Okay, so a spirit heart, thankfully. Check out the secret room here. We'll blow it up, hope for some hearts. Money. Holy cow. So... Okay, continuing on here. More fistula, this time without the exploding guys. So, that'll be easier. Just take them out one at a time. Hopefully kill this bomb fly. Jeez. Kill this bomb fly. Kill this bomb fly. Alright, so now I got two of these things left, both of the bomb bomb fly. <laughs> bomb fly inside, I think. Maybe a red fly, I'm not quite sure what the percentages are, or even if they come out, but they do sometimes, I know that. Okay, so. The item room is really hiding from us here. Did get a a heart, so that's good. Decent room here. And a key as well. Not wanting for... Okay, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Get the money there. We'll come back here and fire. Come down here and fire. We can sneak to the side here and just finish him off. Alright, swing over here. And just continue here, just playing carefully. Finish off this guy. And more money. We'll check out the item room, which is a lucky foot. Would have been really nice earlier with those pills. Doesn't do hardly anything for us now. And I don't really want to explore any more of this floor. I'm pretty over it. So go ahead and come up here. Get our eternal heart. I think Necropolis 1 is mom. I hope Necropolis 1 is mom. If it's not, I'm making a bit of a mistake here and putting this Eternal Heart at risk, depending on who I'm fighting. But we'll go back up to full health. We do have one Spirit Heart to protect uh, our Eternal Heart here. And we'll just see who we're fighting against. So, and we are fighting... Oh! Mask of me. So I have made a terrible mistake. 
Jesus. Okay, so I'm already one heart away from having my eternal heart on the table. Unfortunately. It's okay. With a dead bird here, we will actually be able to... Oh, God. I can't believe this is happening. Okay, so yeah, with uh, the dead bird here, if it stays on him, which it should if we can just keep slowing shots on him, um, it will be able to finish him off for us. We can just keep our slowing shots on him. It's basically going to be our means of damage for this fight, is just using uh, dead bird to whittle him down, because dead bird hits him every time. So just keep slowing shots on him, stay away from him, and keep dead bird going strong, and we will be fine. Eventually. Okay. Just keep on keeping on here. Dead bird, keep doing work. And I know we are hitting him with some of our stray shots, but that's not really the point. Ah, we are able to kill him, we get a speed upgrade, and we are able to keep our eternal heart turned into a uh, regular heart. So, really, really happy with that. Alright, so now we're on mom's floor here. Go ahead and just check out these side rooms first. Um, Alright. Stay out of the way here. I'm surprised he wasn't able to follow me up there. I should have probably taken damage. So go ahead and uh, just take him out. And do the same for this guts. Go ahead and blow up this and open the golden chest because why not? And we do get the Empress, which activates. I think it. What does the Empress do? The Empress activates uh, the uh, whole curse form that we got when we go down to half a, half a regular heart. That's what the Empress does, I think. So we'll check out the item room. Hopefully not greed. Or super greed. And it's regular greed. So, two greeds on this run. We have been fighting greed a lot lately. I'm not sure if he appears more when you have more money, which would be kind of a douchebag move. But we are going to be up to a crap ton of cash. 44 cents, actually. If we hadn't unlocked uh, Kane or uh, yeah, if we hadn't unlocked Kane already, we'd be in pretty. Oh, I thought I was out of the way. We'd be in a pretty good place to unlock him this time. Oh, gotta watch out how far we dodge because I am moving pretty fast, just sliding around. All right, 49 cents. Holy cow! I guess we'll just play this slot machine over. I don't want that heart yet. I want to avoid it if I can. We are fighting a chub here. If we can slow the front part of him, his whole body becomes slowed. So that's going to be the uh, general goal here. Just keep pinging him down and uh, hopefully keep him slowed here. Just keep, uh, keep on keeping on. These slowing effects. I think I've gotten him two or three runs in the last like four runs. Ah, I can't believe I took damage there at the very end. That's a uh, pretty poor play. But we will step up here, pick up that heart that we lost against him, and uh, finish off this poop and move on. Okay, so I'm not super happy about this room, and I did get caught, so that was bad. Took a full heart health of damage when I probably shouldn't have taken any. Uh, the latter actually being a detriment to my success in that room. Come down here, we'll get the scapular. Which, uh, when, I, when I'm close to death, it actually stops me from dying, I think is what the scapular does. I wasn't sure in, more damage. I wasn't sure in a previous video when, you, when I got it, I thought it had something to do with spirit hearts. But it's not, it's like some sort of a weird onk. And that's another item I've seen a lot of. Um, this is luck up, so we'll use that. And uh, just keep on fighting here, just trying to get to, uh, to mom so we can use our Bible to one-shot her. Is that's what we're gonna do. Alright. Let's keep on fighting here. And I don't want to take any more damage than I absolutely have to. This is kind of a dick room. And we found an arcade, so we'll be able to at least spend some money there. Hopefully we'll fight a or find a uh Ah, so we did take damage, but oh Jesus. Dead bird should be able to finish off the zombies for us. Hopefully. Just stay alive as long as possible here. Dead bird. Find your target. And strike with wings of death. There you go. And the last zombie, please. 
Thank you. Hopefully we'll be able to find a fortune teller in here to maybe get a better trinket than we have. Ah, and uh, ask and ye shall receive. So we'll go ahead and blow up this uh, blood bank over here. Grab the empress, which means we have two empresses now. Uh, we'll go ahead and play this a few times too. We'll play this until it blows up though. Spirit heart, can't complain about that at all. More bombs, don't want the umbilical cord because the point at which the umbilical cord becomes useful is the point that I'm almost dead at. So we'll get the uh, Wheel of Fortune here. Don't really want that. Um, grab the Empress again, and that <laughs> did end up blowing up from the bomb it's spot, it's spot out. I don't want that. Um, the thing about the Luck Foot, actually, is it makes it so I can't get fortunes when I'm playing the Fortune Teller. So we'll use this. We'll activate it. We'll get the Bible back. Check out what card it gave us, the sun. So we'll reveal and go to full health. Yep. Reveal and go to full health, even though we already did that. We'll keep the Joker, which takes us to either deal with the devil or deal with the angel room, but I don't know if there's one on this floor, and I really don't want to mess up this run. So we'll just make our way up to Mom, kill her instantaneously, and then use the Joker on the next floor. I actually pretty I should have kept no, this will be fine. This is fine. Alright. It's a pretty easy floor. Right, so we got tears up. We'll use that. So yeah, with the fact that we have the uh, lucky foot now, all of our pills are reversed into being... It forces them to be good, basically. So, safety cap. Don't need that at all. Spirit heart will keep the red patch. If at all possible, we'll stand down here. Don't want that. Don't want that spirit card, no matter what it is. Joker's better. Goat hoof is probably about the left hand. Now it gets interesting. If we take the left hand, it guarantees us deal with the devil rooms. Cancer. Well, no, I want, I want cancer. Give me cancer. I said nobody ever. No, give me cancer. Not Curse Skull, I want. So we got Cancer, okay. So, if the tick shows up, we're gonna run like a little bitch. You don't want the Fool. Wanna keep the Joker. Just wanna go ahead and keep on playing here. Get as many Spirit Hearts as we can. Mass amounts of Trinkets. Spirit Heart. And luckily we do have the uh, Magneto, so they all get drugged to us. Tick, we're out here. Cancer is so much better than the Tick, it's stupid. Well, I, I almost want the left hand, because it forces us to, fo to go to Satan. Yeah, we're going to grab the left hand. Okay, I've, I've got a plan for this, trust me. No, we want... I guess we have the Joker, we need the left hand now. Hero, oh, so we, have, we found a hero font card in there, that's good. Left hand, okay, so we got the left hand, and now we need to get... Got the Joker and Cancer. So we, we got left hand and Fool, so now we'll use it to just get it off of our table here. I got a, I got a bit of a, I'm not going to touch the tick. So we know that, missing page, no, no, left hand, good, now we'll get out of here. So we'll, okay, give me just a second, I'll explain it after we should one-shot mom here. So, okay, so mom's foot will come down, and mom's done. Bam! Halo has appeared in the basement. So, we'll go ahead and... Sure, we'll get Pageant Boy for all this money that we so desperately need. We'll go down to the next floor here. Actually, I could have done it a much better way. Well, we'll use the joke right off the bat to get Brimstone, and sure, we'll get the pack too. So, up our damage a bit. 
And now we'll just try to make it as far as we can here. I think the brimstone will help us out a lot in general. I wish we had more damage, but beggars can't be choosers. He's got to find a way to the boss now. This is kind of a bitch of a room. Keep on, keep on. I think uh, meat or the cube of meat there just took some damage for us, which was nice of it. I always like it when I don't have to take damage. Uh, the speed upgrade we have plus the slowing is making this fight actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Brimstone is also being quite useful. So we got just one little hit on this guy left. Move on. The lever, so that'll be two hearts. Let's go ahead and keep fighting these here. So I'm not actually a huge fan of Brimstone, like I know it's usefulness. And it's good if you can get some of the other items like a mom's knife or a polythemus, polythemus, just to like really upgrade the damage it's doing. Oh my god. What have I done to deserve this room? Oh god. At least we got dead bird out now, so we'll be able to hopefully finish it a little bit faster, but I Well, any plan I had, illusions of grandeur might be coming to an end. Good lord, they're bouncing off of each other and causing them to spam their attacks. This is absolutely insane. And our pill here has to be good. It's tears up, so that's not bad, but we took way too much damage there and we did find a dead end, so that was not useful at all. So I was going to say we can force going to Satan. If we use the uh, Bible on Satan, it kills us. Um, but... I was thinking that since we respawn with the scapular, we might be able to survive and get a free kill on Satan anyways, but just getting to Mom at this point is looking like less of a possibility than even getting to anything, so we just gotta kill this brain as quickly as we can. We found another dead end, which is really unfortunate for us. Gotta finish these guys off. Yeah, so I, I had a plan. I probably could have kept the, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I did this very poorly, though. So we just really need to be able to end another dead end in a dick of a room. And... Um... Oh, God. So I took stupid damage there. We're not even gonna get to Mom. We are just getting our asses kicked on the womb... Or our ass kicked on the womb here. Just... Oh, you're in, we're in utero, that's why. Utero is like, um, hard version of the, uh, of the womb here. Which explains why everything is happening the way that it is. Yeah, so we need to take, like, absolutely no damage here in order to have any sort of chance. Or we need to find... What's this do? The Joker? What do we have? Lovers? Probably not going to be useful as the Joker is. We'll just see what happens. Oh god, I should have taken more damage there. So we just need to get to mom. Mom's heart. So that's what we need to do. Uh, pretty fly. Gives a full halo now with uh, Cuban meat. And uh, yeah, we'll find out what's in here. Why not? Nine lives. <sighs> not right now. Might find ourselves in a position where that needs to happen, but that time is not now. Actually. Yeah, we'll see what the boss drops, but we actually... Uh, it's a pretty easy floor here, as long as we're not stupid about it. Oh god, so... Speaking of being stupid about it, we just took a, a damage we had no interest in taking whatsoever. So yeah, we'll go ahead and check out what's in here. Hopefully something game-breaking. Spirit hearts. A spirit heart. Okay, good enough. Can't complain. If I can, I'm just not going to. I have the talent to. I'm just... 
Oh god. So that was pretty decent dodging there. Yeah, see if we can just take out one of these, everything becomes a lot easier. And I just want to be off of this floor. So Alright. We just have to find a way to mom. I feel like we're in like the Euro XL or something. Let's find out what's in here. Not worth it. At all. Even with the Uh, we'll see how bad we are. If we uh, do need to get desperate, we can get desperate. Oh god, I probably should have taken damage there. Just need to reduce the amount of these guys that are flying around. Okay, two I can deal with. One I can definitely deal with. Okay, so now we're going to move on and fight Daddy Long Legs. The boss I've never actually fought before. Oh god. So he apparently just spits out these spiders and then stomps around the room a bunch. What a dick. And I can only hit him. Oh god. It's like he doesn't actually aim, so I just have to hope that I get in the safe spot. Try to watch the floor for uh, stompy legs there. Jesus. Alright, so this guy doesn't seem overly... This is new. He's apparently now following me with the stomps, kind of like Mom does. And then he shoves himself on the floor. And then he gets killed. So we got Mom's heals here. So range upgrade. Not good. Okay, so there's nothing in Satan. We'll go ahead and head down. And we got some serious moment of truth going on here. We'll use the Joker right away. So we could we could go right down to Satan if we wanted to right now, but we don't. We want to fight Mom and beat Mom. So I should have known that was how that was going to work. Well, in the future that will be useful. And Spirit Hearts, thank God, that is one thing I need is more health. Sweet Lord, do I need more health. Probably shouldn't have hidden in that corner. That was a bad idea. Just gotta finish one so I can use the huge range I have. Let's see if we finish them off. Alright. He'll come through here. Child's Heart. No thanks. Arcade. Spiders. Okay, well, I had that coming. Please. Okay. I am getting unbelievably lucky. Don't want that. I want to keep left hand because I do want to try getting to Satan. Could be interesting. Matchstick. No, I want to get Spirit Hearts. Toss me Spirit Hearts, please. Another Terra card. Strength. Okay, that's good. I'll take that. Gives us all stats upgrade for one room. Another Terra card gives us Temperance, which gives us a Blood Bank. It does. So we'll blow up both Blood Banks here, hopefully. Or one, and then the other. We're hoping for spirit heart drops out of these, which I know they can give. Or an eternal heart. We'll grab that right away. We'll grab strength, which we are going to use on, uh. I don't know. We just need this. Yeah, so we're in uterus, so we just need to find the boss room. That's it. Find boss room, win. That's our strategy. Alright, so we have luck up. We'll grab that. Why not? Strength. We have a uh, pretty fly here. Sure. I'll get him. He doesn't do anything. Once you get three circling, that's the max you can have. So, double gluttony is here, which is annoying. It's okay. Hopefully we can get them both shooting the same direction, which is not having that happening. Alright, so we are able to get through there with a little bit of extra health here. Um, we'll use this. And we are out of keys at this point. Still not what I want to find. We are feeling a little bit better about our chances right now. Alright, we'll go ahead and shoot that. Let's shoot that. We are on the boss. So. Okay, here we go. We'll come in here. Bible's ready. We'll do that. So the razors appear in the basement. 
And even though we had the left hand, we don't get a shot at the wafer has appeared in the basement. So we actually, that teleported us into Satan somehow, and we are now heading down to Shoal. So, shit's just getting crazier and crazier on our exciting run as Eve. So now we are in desperate need of getting to the boss room immediately. Well, no, we need to charge the Bible. So I can't actually say that we need to get there as soon as possible. We did find the uh, second secret room there. Um, go ahead and fight War as he charges at us. If he can just keep charging, we'd be in good shape because we can just keep him slowed. Makes it pretty easy to fight him. As long as he stays slowed. Okay, so now he is in his little running form. But we are faster than he is. And he'll get tired here eventually. We'll fire at him. Just gotta stay away. And he's almost dead, so... Still have the strength card, so if we need to, we can grab an extra heart and a room. Okay, so we'll just keep playing this then, for more spirit hearts. We got strength, we got the sun, so we'll use the sun right away. And we we are going the wrong way to Satan, so that would have been extremely detrimental to us. So, we got this, which is the stars. Stars takes to one of the rooms, I don't know which one. The world, we already know where we're going. Got the stars still. Strength. Well, it's only three rooms to Satan. Um, we'll go ahead and blow this up, see what's in the secret room, because I don't think it can hurt us. Okay, so we'll move on. Nothing in this room. Okay, we knew that already, though. Oh, gosh, so we took damage from these bomb flies unnecessarily. And so my plan is to kill myself via the Bible against Satan and hope that my scapular will proc saving me from death. Is it a good plan? No. Do I know if it'll work? No. But this run has already gone beyond what it should have with the finding of the Bible, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna... Maybe we'll call this fun with the Bible or something. So we just need to finish off one of these guys. and last room for us. It's going to be against a monster or two, which is exactly what we wanted to fight, because he is going to be simple as long as we have our execution. We'll just have a laser beam fight with each other. Um, just keep shooting along here. Or maybe we should just try... F Here's what we'll do. We'll just try to fight Satan normally, and if things get bad, then we'll try to do our Bible dealie. So, yeah, we've got him exactly where we want him here. So we might actually be able to beat him on the merits of our own abilities. Not sure, though. Maybe the strength card will be enough to pull that off. And Monster 2 is almost dead. Still almost dead. And there it is. So now we're going to go ahead and take a shot at Satan here. Eve versus Satan. Start off by using our strength card. Lay a bomb here. We weren't able to finish off the bomb flies yet. That was a poor dodge. Where he took a spear heart, which I shouldn't have. We have a thicker beam here because of strength, maybe. So, okay, so we got him down to his uh, two fallen form. Go ahead and if we finish off one of these guys, it'll be much easier. We're gonna focus on the guy on the left right now if we can. That guy. He's now chasing us, so we should be able to stay away from him pretty well. And okay, so we're down to just one Fallen, so everything should be pretty easy. We'll wait for him to try to shoot at us with the laser beams. Finish him off. Just going to go ahead and activate Satan after one or two more of these beams. Alright, so here we go. So if we're able to just keep him slowed, 
shoot side to side here. This is going to be our strategy. We are fast enough to be able to do this, hopefully. Unless he just does that, which I've never seen before. Fires at us continually. We can force him to fire his laser beams, which are a lot easier to dodge. Got him to almost half health here. He's being kind of a dick. Uh, he missed his laser shot, thankfully. See if we can't get him to fire it again here. Got him about a third of his health right now. Um, we did take another hit, which was not bad because we haven't taken much this whole fight. And we're going to go ahead and hold on to the... Ah, another hit. We're going to hold on to the Bible as long as possible. When we get to one bar or one heart, we will be using it, though. Like one shot until we're in the third form here. All right. And we're in the stompy phase. If we run side to side, we should be able to hit him with... Oh god, gotta keep moving though. Down to two hearts, so one hit left, and we're using it. Nothing happened. Okay. So. Not quite sure what happened at the end there. Got all kinds of crazy. Um, we were almost able to beat Satan with Eve, which is great. Um, and, uh, yeah, much more successful run than I thought we were going to have. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.